Hey everyone, it's Fuzzy Mash, and um, I'm back from like my 10 day. I was away for a couple of days, so I'm just back with a tutorial, quick tour for everyone. It's a tour for optics compens compensation in After Effects. Uh, I've seen a, a few of them already on YouTube for Sony Vegas, but like I've I, I was gonna do another my my because the way I've done it, I think it looks a lot better than most people's. So just put your clip in and just go to the part where you want to put it. You have to have magic bull magic bullets for this um uh tutorial, so you can use dot lens correction. If, uh, you can use it lens cor not lens correction. Oh uh, yeah, it's yeah lens distortion that's it. And just set the part that you want to do it on. Let me just get rid of all the audio. Oops. I just want to twix this part. Let's put it in draft half so it renders it up better. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my magic bullet looks and put it on here. I've got my magic bullet looks on, and you have to keyframe it. So what you wanna do is you put you go to lens, you put the lens distortion effect. If your magic bullet looks haven't got this, you have to update it. I see with most people, they've a couple of people have this problem, and you just put the distortion minus 100 percent flatten on zero and you put this keyframe like here and the one at the beginning you put everything at zero and we you just right click you copy and you paste the event attributes on the video let's delete twixter um, that's it, let me just paste it again so it looks a lot more zoomed in and you just paste it as many times as you want to sort of whatever your liking is like this is what I've done, it just really zoomed in then let's put on the next clip and And just do it again, but then you animate it with a couple of keyframes forward, and then just put it all back to zero. Let's see how many of them. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so I've got four of them on here, so I'm gonna copy. Paste. Paste. Now I have four of them, and we'll just pre-render it. You can also put a reverse intervention gunshot sound, so sort of swoosh. You can just move all the keyframes a bit forward.
there you have it. You can just you just move all the pieces of it backwards. And you just put a flash there if you like. And it's gonna look pretty fun if you turn this out. can just mess about with it however you like and yeah that's it for this tutorial be sure to subscribe if you uh, found this tutorial helpful it's positive when I shout out